Hey guys, it's Preston C. Howell and you're watching Celebrity Hotspot. I've just been doing things like making beats or different chord progressions, stuff like working on different lyrics. And also, I actually just got into skateboarding just on my driveway, biking, and also fishing, like I have a tiny lake right over there. So yeah, I'm just doing different things. So my mom told me like a day before the open calls at the Miami Marlins Stadium that they were having open calls at the Miami Marlins Stadium. So I was like, wait, oh my gosh, that's super cool. Uh, you want me to do that? And she's like, I mean, I think it'd be a great opportunity. I was like, sure. I didn't know what I was getting into. I had no idea. So we just went, hope for the best. And then obviously something really good happened out of it. So I was super excited and I'm super glad that my mom made that decision. wild, awesome, and exciting. Just those three just in my head all the time, just being there, being so wide-eyed the whole time, looking around like, I've seen that on TV, I've seen that on TV. It was just awesome. Favorite memory would, I think it would definitely have to be just that first performance the at the blinds when I got the four chair turn and I was like shaking. It was just the best thing that's ever happened to me. It was just so, uh, it just felt so good. Best piece of advice that I was given during the show would have to be from Usher and John. They were working together and they talked to me and my partner Menzaleev about intimacy and Usher said it in a super cool way. He said, into me, see. And I was like, bruh. <laughs> me and Mizalev looked at each other, minds blown. He, he just explained it in such a good way. He said, you know, that we have to connect with the lyrics that we are given and not just the feel, just but like everything. The lyrics we have to connect in our mind and, you know, express it in a way that'll reach towards the audience. You know? Since I was, you know, pretty young, I would just have to say, just go for it. You never know what's gonna happen. I didn't know what was gonna happen. I was super scared. And you should have seen me right before that those blinds when I walked up, super nervous, super nervous. So I just say, go for it. I think around eighth grade, I was doing a musical and I was just standing there, I had a solo. I looked at, I started singing and then I just looked down at the audience and there were like a few people like obviously I guess like women just like different type of women just like 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 something like that and I was like oh geez I want to become a singer and I just like stepped to it I don't know like making people feel like that and just like I don't know it felt so good Fly and Demand is all about making you guys making everyone just feel happy and joyful and making sure that we all know that we are here for a reason and we're all loved by somebody. And the song was written with, you know, a connection to a campaign for mental health and teen suicide. So it definitely has that push of let's just love each other. We all have love and we have love to give. So just making people feel closer to each other. My experience with Akapop has definitely been one of the coolest experiences ever because, you know, I never really thought I'd be doing acapella music. And so when I went into that and I got the audition, I was like, oh, okay, so well, what do I do? I'm just gonna sing baritone, I guess. And at the time, my voice was like changing a lot. And so I was like, you know, I could, I could sing these high notes, but no, I was definitely like more of a baritone. And then they were like, oh, you know, we don't have a lot of basses, can you try bass? And I was like, Oh dang, I was like, oh no. And so I tried it and I loved it. And I loved it so much. It was just a super cool thing doing the doom doom. And a lot of people say like, oh, um, you know, you should do more than just a doom. So I was like, no, thank you. It's the coolest thing ever being doing that for like a bunch of songs. It's just doom doom. And it's just like the funnest thing ever. And so, you know, the first time even seeing Scott Hoying at one of our, uh, our filmings, 
and it was just so cool. He walked in, all the kids ran, we all hugged him, and he was like, oh my gosh, I mean, I'm so happy you guys are doing this. I was like, yeah, we were all super happy. And it's just so fun. All the kids, we all click super well, and it's just a great experience. Actually, me and my brother, we, we're, we're starting to do, you know, some stuff. We did some chords earlier, and, you know, we're trying to fix in some lyrics, and so you could definitely be expecting a few songs from me and my brother. I know this may sound, you know, weird from, like, knowing my voice, but I, I just think it would be the coolest thing to collab with Post Malone. I just, I'm thinking of it, and just being on stage with him, too, it's just super fun, bro. Oh my gosh, that'd be awesome. Technically, all of my stuff, my TikTok, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook, is all Preston C. Howell, P-R-E-S-T-O-N-C-H-O-W-E-L-L. And, I mean, also Snapchat is Preston C. Howell 1. So, yeah, go follow him.